Today, we're talking about problematic pornography use. I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. And if you're new here, I make weekly content on urologic health, bladder health, sexual health, and so much more. If you like what you see, please make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. As a disclaimer, this video is not meant to shame anyone. If you're using pornography and it's enjoyable and it's not causing any negative consequences to your life, then there's no harm in using it. However, if you're using pornography on a regular basis and getting strong urges to use it and avoiding normal daily activities like going to work or hanging out with friends, maybe needing more and more pornography to reach climax and think like you've lost control, these are signs that pornography may be a problem for you. Also, if generally you're feeling frustrated, unsatisfied with life and pornography is the only thing that's bringing you joy or happiness, then that's another sign that you need to really take a look and watch this video. For people who have problematic use of pornography, this can have really significant life consequences. It can lead to social isolation when you're spending more and more time watching pornography rather than doing other activities, you can start feeling very lonely. It can also lead to decreased productivity in work or school. And in some cases, it can lead to increased mental health issues like depression or anxiety. And lastly, it can cause problems in your relationships. And if you're spending a lot of money purchasing pornography, it can end up being very financially problematic, meaning you can end up spending more money than you have on things like buying pornography. So if you're in this category, what are some tips that you can use to help break the cycle? Well, first and foremost, you wanna delete all access to pornography that you have. Delete all the pornography on your computer, on your phone, delete the websites, make sure you don't have access to them and find an accountability partner. Find someone who will keep you honest in saying, did you use it today? And you're gonna tell them honestly if you did or you didn't. Better yet, you could also get help from other things like apps. Blocker X is an application that can allow you to effectively block apps, websites, and other things on your devices that give you access to pornography. But the problem with most apps, unlike Blocker X, is that you can delete them or bypass them yourself. But with Blocker X, you also can choose an accountability partner that actually is the only person who can allow you to remove that app from your phone or computer. And this app has a community. It has over 100,000 active community members that are all trying to overcome their problems with pornography. And the app also gives you access to several courses about how pornography can affect your relationships, your sex life, and potentially cause erectile dysfunction. Ultimately, this app increases awareness of the problem and provides concrete solutions. Blocker X Premium allows you to choose an accountability partner of your choice, block unlimited applications, keywords, and websites, and avoid those annoying advertisements. Make sure you check out the link in the pinned comment below. The third thing you can do is figure out the cues that are triggering you to use pornography. So take note of what's happening when you get the urge to use pornography. Are you depressed? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you lonely? What exactly is causing you to feel this urge? Is there something that happens pretty routine before you go watch pornography. The fourth thing is then identify what happens when you get the urge itself to watch pornography. How does your body feel? Do you feel kind of tense in your muscles? Do you feel your heart racing? Do you feel very uncomfortable sensation in your chest or your stomach? Take note of that feeling. That's your urge feeling. And once you've really figured out what that urge feeling is, identify it, take note of it. Sometimes it can even help to give it a color or a shape. For example, you could say, oh, it's the purple dinosaur. And so whenever you get the urge, you're like, oh, it's the purple dinosaur. You can't fight the urge. You just have to acknowledge it, know that it's there and know that it will go away on its own, but it's gonna be there. And so allow the urge and then let it pass. And as you keep practicing that, the urges will get less strong and less bothersome, but they will still certainly be there. You will never get away from having urges to do something that your brain has habituated itself to do and really allow you to overcome this problem. And lastly, now that you know what your cues are, your triggers are, and what happens when you get the urge, write those things down. So for example, if you feel depressed, write down, I feel depressed, and then I get the urge and I feel my heart racing and my muscles tense up. 
and then you go watch pornography. So that's your habit loop. Now you want to break the habit loop. So what are you going to do when you have that cue and that trigger? What can you replace with pornography? What else gives you dopamine or joy? Maybe that's going for a walk. Maybe that's talking to a friend. Maybe that's reading a book or taking a bath or even just doing a quick workout like 20 jumping jacks or five push-ups, And maybe that will help you get a little bit of endorphin rush and avoid the need to use pornography. Lastly, realize that if you do watch it or if you do give in to the urge, don't beat yourself up. Be kind to yourself. Know that things will happen. It will not be a straight line and just keep working at it. Keep writing those things down, keep practicing, and eventually you'll get over it. If none of those things work, there are other options available to you to go seek help. See a psychologist and they will maybe offer you things like cognitive behavioral therapy or medications like antidepressants, mood stabilizers, or naltrexone, which is a medication that's used for other types of dependencies to reduce cravings. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.